In this video, we'll be taking a look at the top programming languages for DeFi developers. These languages are growing in popularity for DeFi developers and are facing high demand in the blockchain industry. Let's not waste any more time and get straight into it, starting off with Solidity. Okay, so what is Solidity? Solidity is the primary language used for smart contract development. This language can be used for all EVM compatible chains, including Ethereum, Polygon, Binance Smart Chain, and many more. Your smart contracts act as the backbone of your project. For many use cases, they can entirely replace your backend. A contract is really just like a class in any other programming language, holding state and logic which acts upon that state in a deterministic manner. Generally, you'll only store data on a contract that is needed for the verification and processing of transactions. In the blockchain world, a transaction is just simply a function call which modifies state on the blockchain. It has nothing to do with transferring money per se, the similar terminology is just a coincidence. All transactions are atomic within this synchronous system, and if any aspects fail, then the entire transaction reverts. This is what's referred to in the programming world as atomic transactions. You should be careful to avoid storing indices, caches, and other data solely used for user interface purposes in a smart contract, given the inefficiencies of doing so right now. You should only keep track of the state needed for smart contract logic. Solidity continues to be the most significant and popular language for smart contract development, and is likely to continue to be used down the road for any new smart contract chains, while other languages face an increased risk of fading away. There is a high and growing demand for Solidity developers at the moment. Now, we'll take a look at front-end languages. HTML and CSS are crucial for building the user interface of your web front-end. They are used for laying out the structure of your app and styling the various aspects of your UI. Although HTML and CSS are web technologies, there is a growing trend of using these technologies for native mobile apps. Progressive web apps are becoming more prominent, which offer native integration of your web app into Android and iOS. This means if you are new to app development, consider prioritizing HTML and CSS before moving on to any platform-specific frameworks for Android and iOS. This way you get the best of both worlds, with your app functioning on the web and on all mobile devices with one single skill set. Along with HTML and CSS, you're finally going to want to look at JavaScript. The final language you're going to need to master is JavaScript. If you're building a web app, you're going to need to use JavaScript for developing the logic of your front end. JavaScript is full of libraries for blockchain developers. Web3.js is the most common one used for communicating with your smart contracts. With JavaScript, you can tap directly into the Web3 Ethereum API, which is natively supported by some browsers such as Brave or Metamask Mobile, but can also be used if you have an Ethereum wallet browser extension installed such as Metamask. There's a good chance you'll also be using JavaScript for testing the logic in your smart contracts. Testing is essential in the smart contract world because once a contract is deployed, it can't be changed because it's entirely immutable. Web3.js is once again prominent in the testing space of smart contracts. There's a high likelihood that you'll still have some form of a regular backend for your app, in which case Node.js is a great decision for all the same reasons. Since Node.js uses JavaScript, you'll be given access to all the same libraries, allowing you to reuse code throughout your application. If you decide to develop native mobile apps, there's a good chance you'll decide to continue using JavaScript along with frameworks such as React Native. Once again, code reuse will be possible and you'll get access to many of the same libraries along with the benefit of having a single JavaScript code base for both Android and iOS apps. It is clear that JavaScript is a great first choice for your front-end, back-end and smart contract testing, allowing you to share the majority of your code base. If you are new to blockchain, smart contract, DeFi and DApp development, these are the set of languages you're going to want to pick up. They'll offer you the best chance of success in this new decentralized ecosystem, referred to as Web 
Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to leave a like if you've learned something. You can check out my other Ethereum videos on screen now and don't hesitate to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions. Special thanks to all the Patreon supporters who helped make these videos possible.